type fast here. So in this tutorial I will teach you some of the techniques I use to make this animation. <laughs> We will start on Dash Studio, just to export a basic FBX to work with, then we will use the Mixamo platform to choose a nice dancing animation mocap clip, and then we will go to Cinema 4D, where we will teach you the main techniques to make all these cool camera moves that follows the dancing guy around. Oh, keep in mind that I won't cover the animation of the background. I might cover this on a future tutorial, but I don't know yet. Let me know if you're interested in this. So, let's go! Okay, so here we are in Death Studio. I don't want to spend that much time over here, just want to get like a basic model to work with. Let me import um, a model. I really like this Genesis 2. It's really basic. Um, the only thing that I, that I want to to do with him is just to go to the shaping tab, increase just a little bit of the body bodybuilder details so we can get like a little bit more details over here, um, and maybe the emancipated slider just to make it a little bit thinner. Not that much here in that studio, we just want to get a nice rigged model to work with. So as export settings, uh, I, re I highly suggest to export an, as an FBX. Let me get just like a good folder to save. Um, yeah, I highly suggest exporting as an FBX because uh, it already comes with the old rigging. Um, the Mixamo platform does an automatic rigging on OBJs as well, but it's it's always nicer to give the platform already rigged models. So yeah, just leave it just as default settings, no problem with that. And right after exporting this, we will go to the Mixamo platform to work with this model. So here you are in the Mixamo platform. If you don't have an account already, you just need to, to sign up with like Google or Facebook or even create an account from zero. It's pretty simple. Um, then you have to upload your character. It accepts like FBX, OBJ and zip files. Just drag and drop over here. It's pretty simple. Um, then you can choose from a bunch of different animations. For these kind of projects that we are working with, working with, we can like choose a dance preset over here, and maybe get like this samba dancing or maybe hip hop dancing. I don't know. Yeah, maybe just hip hop dancing. You can mess with uh, overdrive to make it run faster, but keep in mind that you like have less number of frames. But I don't like that. Let's let just leave it here, right? Then you just need to download it with the FBX preset and with skin, whatever, just leave it as it is. And once we finish downloading it, we will go to Cinema 4D to actually animate this, this guy with the camera moves and stuff. Alright, so here you are in Cinema 4D. The first thing you have to do, of course, is to actually import our model. Um, don't forget to click no on this checkbox over here. Uh, don't forget, of course, to extend our timeline so, so we can get all the keyframes. So, as of now, if we hit play, we already have all the animation from the Mixamo platform right here on Cinema 4D. Uh, one of the main aspects of the animation is the camera movements. So, the first thing you have to do is to set up a camera. I always like to use a target camera because the we have way more control with the target. Let me just zero this camera position right here so we can get like a clean camera. Set this viewport to the camera. All right. I will group these objects right here. Move it a little bit upwards. Maybe change the the millimeters of the lenses. Yeah, right here. So, if we hit play right now, we ha already have the animation and stuff, but the camera it's 100% static. It's not following the guy around as the camera on the animation does. So, to do that, we actually have to attach the camera 
to the bones of the rigging the, of this character. And to do that, it's actually pretty simple. We only have to add a tag here on the character tag and go to constraint. On the constraint tag, we have to enable PSR and then change the priori priority to uh, generators, right? So here on the PSR tab, we actually have to set the target as one of the bones of the rigging. I will use the head bone because I want the, the camera following the head around. So let's go to the tag and then check the head. So it automatic, automatically changes the entire uh, coordinates of these objects inside this node. So we basically have to adjust it again. Maybe get this camera target right here on the head and maybe the camera a little bit down, move the camera down. Okay, all right. So if I hit play right now, you will see that the camera is actually moving with the head like this. So we will have like a really cool effect in which the head is always static in the animation. Let me get the camera view right here. So if I hit play, the head is always, always, always static on this animation. It's a really cool effect and it's the foundation of all the other uh, little techniques I use it on the animation. So the next, next thing we have to do is to actually rearrange the keyframes from this Mixamo animation. I will change the workspace to an animation one where we can see all the keyframes right here. And the technique, it's actually really, really simple, but it's really time demanding. Yeah, <laughs> I will have to do, it's a really simple step, but you need to repeat it a lot. So you need to have like the first five keyframes and move it to frame zero right here. And then we have to get the next five keyframes and move to frame 10, for example, right? and then get the next five keyframes and move to frame 20. Okay, it's, it doesn't matter which frame you put this, this on, but it needs to be uniform. I, I mean, I highly recommend it to be uniform. So what is happening here is that while the, the timeline is passing through these keyframes, the guy is moving on the, his normal speed. But between these two keyframes, he will move like in slow motion because we are basically stretching these two keyframes, okay? So if we keep repeating this pattern, we will have that start and stop animation uh, effect. So I will probably speed up this uh, on editing, so you don't have to stick with me while you do all these keyframes. All right, so right now, if we hit play, we have something like this, which the guy moves and stops again and again, right? So this is one of the techniques that I used. The other thing that I use as well, it's not only the guys moving on this strange like rhythm, but the camera moves as well. So I will probably get this target a little bit down. The camera will be a little bit far away. So the next thing we have to do is to actually move the camera as well. So for each of these keyframes, we have to place the camera uh, in different spaces, like places. So first of all, we need to keyframe the first frame. And then here on the last keyframe of this segment, we need to keyframe another position for the camera. For instance, we zoom in a little bit and get a little bit to the right and then keyframe this, this movement. Then we don't want the camera moving while this is happening right here. So we need to copy this keyframe right here. And then on this, the last keyframe of this segment, we need to place the camera in another place, right here maybe. And then we keyframe this position again. Copy this one right here. And then on the last keyframe of this segment, you have to place the camera in another place. And then keyframe it. 
So I will keep repeating this process to all these segments. I will speed up this in editing so you don't have to stick around. Alright, so if we play right now, not only the guy will move on this rhythm, but the camera will snap to each of these points in space. So, we have something like this. Right? And the whole th system moves with the, with the head around, because it's all under this new object right here. So, if you go to this viewport right here, we have something like this. That's basically the the all the movements from the dancing hacker animation. Well, so I think that's it. I really hope that this tutorial at least helped you get a better sense on how I did this animation. If you have any questions, I mean any questions at all, feel free to DM me on Instagram or maybe even email me. And well, that's it. See you in the next one.